Welcome back. Uh, we are doing a rebuild of the Atlanta Falcons. Uh, and like the other ones before this, unfortunately, we start at the beginning of free agency. So any free agent signings or trades that they've made, like Kirk Cousins, Darnell Mooney, uh, unfortunately, those guys will not be on the team to start with. I'm hoping that we can get some of those guys in here so it is a little more realistic. Um, but I'm not sure how we're going to be able to do that. One guy for sure that we are going to get is Kirk Cousins. It might not be the same contract. It might not be, you know, everything the same. But we're going to try our best here. We're going to get Kirk Cousins onto the team um, and then go from there. Rebuild the Falcons and get them a Super Bowl. So to start with, obviously, we are going to accept Kyle Pitt's fifth-year option. Uh, I mean, there's no reason why we wouldn't. Uh, and then here's an interesting one is Jeff Okuda. He doesn't have much re interest in re-signing with us, but I would like to get him back. All these other guys, I don't really care that much about. We can replace them with all due respect. Great players, just not fit uh, in our rebuild here. We don't have nearly as much money as some of the other teams. My guess is, yeah, he's not going to accept it. But that was about the best that we could get. Uh, and from from here, we're just going to sim to uh, free agency. And, uh, you know, we got to get Kirk. Kirk is a, a guy that we have to get. And then other than that, I actually, we, we need to take a second here. Before we step into free agency, we need to take a look at our team. We have not done that yet, so I, I apologize for that. Um, but we have, uh, you know, wide receiver. We have Drake London. He's obviously amazing. Wide receiver two is uh, is is Frank Darby. Frank Darby, you're not going to be our wide receiver two. We got we got to change that. Uh, our O line looks decent. You know, left guard could be better. Center could also be better. Um, but I'm I'm happy with with how it is. Obviously, Desmond Ritter's got to go. Linebackers are pretty bad, and then our edge rushers are as well, as well as our corners. So this is going to be a little bit a little bit tougher than I originally thought. We do have Jesse Bates up there, so I'm happy with that. Um, but we need quite a few positions. It's going to be tougher than I thought, rebuilding these guys. But we're going to try to get K Big Kirko in here and uh, make some changes. In real life, they look a lot better than this. I'll say that. But in the game, they, they look rough. They look really rough. And Kirk has some interest in coming here. We are going to give him a four-year contract like they did. Um, and we'll offer him a contract. I, You know, I, I don't want to. But it is realistic. So we will give him that four-year contract. Now we need receivers, and unfortunately, nobody is interested in us. Nobody. Strong safety Kyle Duggar could be that. Could be a guy we could look at here because we got Richie Grant. Duggar is a guy I would look at. He does not have much interest in us. I don't think he's going to sign with us. Now somebody else we need to look at is wide receivers. We could probably trade. Um. Because these guys are pretty expensive. But I also want to figure out where most of our money is going. Because there's no reason that we should not have as much money as we do. Okay, most of our money is going to Chris Lindstrom and Jake Matthews. Um, also, Grady Jarrett is getting quite a bit. See, you know, Lindstrom is a 92. I understand. You know, he's a... He's one of the best guards in the league. Matthews making $102 million does not make sense. Uh, his yearly contract is... Okay, Grady Jarrett, too, is getting old. I think we're going to have to make a lot of trades because we don't have the money to do this. We can't afford... We really can't afford all of this. And then David Onyemata... It's getting paid thirty five. I can I can live with that. But yeah, we got a lot of guys making a lot of money, and we got to pay pits next year, and we we can't we can't do that. 
Jake Matthews is going to have to go. He's going to have to go, unfortunately. I get, we're going to see where we can trade him to, but he's got to go. All right, so nobody was like super interested in uh, in Jake Matthews, so we added him to the uh, the trade trade block as well as Lindstrom. I don't know if we're going to trade Lindstrom. I don't. We might not, but I don't know. I just I can't. I don't think I can give that much money to some of these guys. I I don't know. I don't know. We don't have much money left, and we need. We need quite a few people still. We're going to have to get a lot of people in the draft. Um, like it just, It's it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough to build around some of these these pieces just with how how expensive they are on the offensive line. Now, I wouldn't mind bringing in ba- Braxton Berrios for only three mil. It'd be worth it. But all these other guys are just too expensive. Now, we do need to make sure that we get Kirk Cousins. Um, We signed Braxton Berrios. We also got Kirk Cousins. Um, We targeted somebody else, but I forget who it was. Kyle Duggar. Kyle Duggar did not come to us, unfortunately. Uh, We kind of expected that, though. Jordan Poyer would be our second best bet. We gotta we gotta go down a little bit here. Chuck Clark wouldn't be a bad guy to add to this list. He's 29, only wants five mil a year. I think Chuck Clark is a good guy to throw on the team here because we do need a strong safety. Our strong safeties are not that great. If we could get him, I'd be happy with that. Now cornerbacks are also something we need to look at. Uh, they're all old. They're gonna be one year replacements, unfortunately. Fuller wants five. Peters won seven. Five and a half is a lot better than seven. Hmm. I think we're going to go with Kyle Fuller and try to get him onto the team. It's going to be a one-year contract. And then I I need to check out linebackers because linebackers aren't looking pretty for us. He wants eight. Josie Jewel wants five. I, we don't have the money. I don't know where they got the money in real life, but we don't have the money. There's nobody really interesting out here to to grab. Maybe Shaq Barrett. We're gonna we're gonna offer Shaq Barrett, give him a one year, and see what we can do. Obviously, we're not trying to win a Super Bowl this year. Um. I mean, if we do, we do. I'll, I'll take a Super Bowl in year one, but we got to rebuild them a little bit. I don't know if Kirk Cousins is going to be the guy to get them the Super Bowl. I hate to break it to you guys, but I don't know the last time a quarterback has won this long in his career without winning a Super Bowl and then wins it in, in some of his last couple years. Um, but yeah, and, and we, we need to figure out what pick we have as well. I should definitely know this. We have the eighth pick. And project us to get a middle linebacker, which is probably we'll take the best guy available. But if it's a middle linebacker, I'm not going to be too upset by that. We also could get a quarterback uh, in the later rounds, maybe. Let's see who we signed here. We did get Chuck Clark, we got Kyle Fuller, and we also got Shaq Barrett. We don't really have that much money left. I think we sim a couple weeks, see if we get any. Any trade offers for Matthews or for for Lindstrom? And we go from there. So we did get some trades for both of those guys. We're going to check out Matthews first. Honestly, the first trade does not look that bad. The cap hit is what's getting me here. Now, we could get Benjamin St. Juice, but Farley also is a star dev. And that would help us at the corner position as well. I'm going to accept that. I'm going to accept that because that gets a lot of money off of our books. Is it the best overall trade? Probably not. But we needed to get that done. And now Lindstrom also has trades. We're not accepting something that small. Uh, Broderick Jones, just he's not that good. Emmanuel Forbes. Puka Nakua. You are going to give me Puka Nakua for Lindstrom. That might be our trade. Hold on.
I think we have to do this. This is kind of a no-brainer. Wait, unfortunately, what? What did that say? We declined it. Trade decline. Hold on. What did that say? Did we get Puka? Please tell me we got Puka. I don't think we did. Lindstrom's still on the team. We didn't get Puka. What the heck happened? Okay. We do need... Wait, no. He's off the... He's at left tackle now. Okay. I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. But we do have a good team. We have a good team. We need right and the left end and a middle linebacker. But I feel confident in our team. Otherwise, this could be a sleeper team. It could be a sleeper team. We haven't built the greatest team of all time. But, you know, what are you going to do about it? Right? Uh, we're going to check out free agency as well. I don't think I can right now. But we'll pick up anybody we need to for the offensive line. And we'll sim to our pick at eight. We'll walk through the first couple rounds of our picks. And then after that, we are going to... Uh, we're just going to... I'll do them and then explain them afterwards if I need to. So the quarterbacks that are supposed to go top five are not good. This looks like our best pick, according to you know, projections and everything. Um, but his his physicals don't look that good. James Reynolds, I I I, I don't know. He's at least good in everything. And then we got a left tackle. This might be the guy we go with. We might just try to make our offense so good. He's got... I think this might be the guy. His pass block is a C. His run block is very good. I think this is our guy. He is hidden dev. I think that was our guy right there. I'm happy with that pick. Our next pick is in the second round. I'm not going to trade, but uh, and I don't have to get another guy earlier, but we just couldn't. And uh, now a free safety is number one. I like that. I really like that. Free safety at one. Um, he's got good zone coverage. His man coverage could be decent. His speed is great. How tall is he? Six two. We're going with him. Normal dev. That's fine. He is six two. With 92 speed, I'm fine with that. I'm genuine. I'm, I'm I'm fine with that. Now we do need to look at getting another wide receiver in the next round, and also linebackers, linebackers, defensive end, wide receiver. Brandon Hale was supposed to go top five, and he just went. I think there's our left end possibly. His block shot is an A. Tackle is an A, finesse move. I like the block shot in an A. His physicals aren't the greatest. He looks pretty... Esteban Herrera. We're going to come back to you. We're going to look at Greg Overstreet here. His block shot is a B. He does have a... I don't know. His physicals are kind of the same. And then Carlos Hernandez. Dude... I hold on. Hold on. Okay. I think this is the guy that we drafted in the Bengals rebuild who turned into a superstar. Now, I'm not saying he's going to, but we have to bring Carlos Hernandez back if we can. I think that's the same name at least. I don't, I don't think it's the same guy. We're going for the Bears pick, by the way. We're, we're going to try to trade for this. The third-round pick and then get the uh, the edge rusher as well. Caleb McGrary has a 12.5, and he is an 80 overall. I need to, oh, my goodness. Hold on. Hold on. We are not looking pretty here. Caden Ellis, we need you. Who else is really bad? Johnny Smith, get off the team. Uh, how much? 
That'll put them over the salary. Uh, we got to get five mil back. Maybe we give them next year's third? Possibly. Wait, we have 81. We'll give them a sixth. Third and a six. Third and... Third, a sixth, and a seventh next year. What do you guys say? No? Understandable. Uh, we'll, we'll give you Desmond Ritter. <laughs> they want him actually kind of bad. Hold on. They actually want Desmond Ritter kind of bad. They accepted that? Maybe I could have got more for Ritter. I mean, in real life, you probably would not have got that much. But now we can get, we can get our uh, Esteban Herrera. Who I don't think he's going to be a hidden dev. I love it. He isn't. But his block shot is an A. He's a run stopper. I'm cool with that. That gives us somebody. And we also keep our third round pick. I'm happy. We got rid of Ritter. Rid of Ritter. Yikes. Okay. That means we probably need a tight end as well. Trevor Moorhead. Pause. Um, decent. Decent. His man coverage is a little scary. His zone coverage is a C. His man coverage is a little scary. He's tall. He's somewhat not super fast. Uh, okay, hold on. Chip Gore. Chip Gore could be kind of good. Where are we go Chip Gore? <laughs> He's going to be a decent backup. We don't need a starting tight end, obviously, because we got Kyle Pitts. But, yeah, that'll be the last one that we kind of walk through from here on out. I'm just going to draft. Okay, we just got out of the draft, and we got trade offers again. I'm going to try and accept. I think we're going to try to accept this again. Unfortunately, we can't, as it would put us over the salary cap. How does Puka Nakua put us over the salary cap? And then why can I not accept any other trades? All right, whatever. We're going to go into the draft recap. Our first round pick is a 74 overall. I'm fine with that. Second is a 74. Hernandez is a 75. Herrera, a 72. I drafted Chip Gore. I also drafted Tyrell Britt. After that, I let the CPU take over, and we got a 68 D tackle in the, in the sixth round. That's not a bad draft. That's not bad. We, I think we, unless the CPU drafted a hidden development in the ninth, or excuse me, the fifth or sixth round, which I don't think that's even possible. Unless they did, then we didn't get any other. But I do like this team. Kirk is on the roster. He's injured. Uh, he's going to be out for four more weeks. So he'll be back during the regular season. I do like this team quite a bit. I think it's got, it's got, we didn't draft a, a middle linebacker, which we need to fix, but it's got a lot of potential. I do like this team quite a bit. Chuck Clark is also injured, I guess. I didn't know that. He's going to be out for 14 weeks. Okay. He should be back by the start of preseason, hopefully, but I, we'll see. We'll see. We're just going to sim the preseason and see where we're at. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. All right? I don't understand what's going on here, but it says Chris Lindstrom has a cap hit of 500K. Now, Bobby Okarike also has a cap hit of 500K. This is an amazing trade to fix our middle linebacker issue. Please let us accept it. Thank you. Chris Lindstrom, I'm sorry. Thank you for your service on the team, but you just cost too much. I don't understand why it was so weird. That's not what I wanted to do. But it, it was so weird with the money for some reason that we couldn't get rid of him. Bobby Okarike is going to be an amazing addition to the team. We're going to check out free agency to see, because we are going to need offensive linemen now. As you can tell, we got a, we got a 65 overall at right guard. We're going to check that out, see if we can fix it. Also, possibly get another wide receiver and edge rushers as well chuck clark is not back yet but he should be back in the next couple weeks hopefully six more weeks he'll be back week 
four, week three possibly. Fingers crossed we can get him back for week three. But I I do think this team is pretty good for where we're at right now. It isn't going to be a one-year rebuild. That's why I had to get rid of Chris Lindstrom because we need the money in the future. Uh, so we're going to see what we can do. Hopefully get kind of far and uh, and go from there. So our best option is Greg Van Roten for a left or right guard. Better than a 65, I guess. I, you know, we, we couldn't expect too much. I'm not terribly upset by that. Now, Randy Gregory is here, but he wins five mil. We do have the money. I am going to give it to him. I think that just kind of hopefully will give us an extra push to get over the top. And then there are middle linebackers out here, like Jordan Hicks. We could put, which we're going to do, because we have the money. It's a one-year contract. We're good. I'm a fan of this. I'm personally a fan of this. We don't have a backup to Kirk Cousins, though, which I was kind of hoping we could get. We didn't. That's fine. It means Kirk is going to be here for another year after this one, most likely. Um but here is how they have it. O-line is not looking as good as, as it was, but that kind of needed to happen, unfortunately, getting rid of Chris Lindstrom just for how much he cost. Uh, and I guess, you know, usually I sim halfway through the season. I think what I'm going to do is sim through week one and see where we're at, see just kind of how the game went. So here's week one, playing the Vikings. Like I said, we're going to sim just through this week and see if Kirk Cousins is getting sacked 10 times a game. we got to make some changes. We do win, and we put up 24. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, Kirk had a pretty good game, 259. He, got, he didn't get sacked a single time. Okay, how is Bijan doing? Bijan ran... You wish he could run a little better, but with that O-line, you kind of understand. Drake London had a great game. Braxton Berrios had a great game. Hernandez did his thing. Wait, where was... Did I miss Pitts? Pitts did okay. All right. I'm not too terribly upset by this. Drake London had two touchdowns. And blocking, I mean, we didn't give up any sacks. What else can you ask for? Caden Ellis had a good game. Bates had a good game. I think we figured this out. Maybe. Maybe. We're going to send to the middle of the season now and see where we're at and go from there. So halfway through the season, we're 3-3. Three and three. Changes need to be made. Uh, the Panthers are 6-1. and one. Had an amazing turnaround. I don't know what the issue is going to be on this team. Um, this isn't what I want to go to. Just going to look. Single game. Don't want that. Um... If I had to guess, it's it's probably the offense. Kirk's not having the greatest season. 11-5, and five, maybe we need to get rid of him sooner than we anticipated. Bijan is not having his greatest season either. I mean, none of these guys really are. Offense is looking pretty bad. We aren't giving up as many sacks as I anticipated, though. Lawrence Kendricks, I don't know why he's playing, but... Yeah, our offense is 29th in the league. How's our defense? Fifth? We need to make some changes offensively, I guess. Um, wow. All right. Well, we got we to gotta make some changes, and does that mean possibly Kirk is gone? He's a 79, and he's not playing well. I think Kirk's got to go. I think Kirk's got to go. This either has to be a... Because he's not going to get any better. That's the thing with Madden. In real life, if Kirk is having a season like this, you'd expect it. Like, new coach, new quarterback, a lot of new things going on. But it's just not working. You know, it, you, know it, you expect there to be road bumps and you're going to ride it out for a little bit. Kirk still has some years left in the tank. Madden doesn't think so. When you hit an age in Madden, which Kirk has already hit, you're just going to go downhill. we got to get rid of Kirk. If we want a chance to win a Super Bowl, we've got to get rid of Kirk, which is going to be tough. 
because he is getting paid quite a bit from us on a four-year contract. Not many people are going to want that, especially if you already have a quarterback. We're going to have to sweeten up the deal a little bit here. Um, maybe. Do we try to get Paul? Paul Gizzy. I think we do. I don't. That's going to put him over the cap by quite a bit, isn't it? Let's see, we're going to have to make up 7 mil, too. It's going to be tough. We don't want the Sean, Mitch Petty, no. Kyler would be a good fit. Kyler would be a good fit, but he's getting paid quite a bit. Oh, man. This is going to be tough. This is going to be really tough. Anthony Richardson, I would love to get him on this team. I think what they need is a, is a guy who can move around, get out of the pocket a little bit. Jalen Hurts is another guy that would work, but I just don't think we can get him. Yeah, maybe is there some way put them over the cap? Is there some way we could get Trevor Lawrence? I I, I don't think that's realistic enough. Did Rodgers retire? Interesting. Hendon Hooker. Hmm. They drafted a quarterback that's hidden dev. You've got to be kidding. Maybe we can get him and put him under Kirk. We'll give him a we'll give him a third. See what the third does. I think it's about halfway. Okay. Tyler Crawford. Welcome to the team. A hidden dev, 74 overall. We'll take him. I guess this will still make it a little more realistic. Kirk is going to get his chance still. But if it doesn't work out, we have a guy who can take his spot next season. And uh, we got to rebuild that O-line as well. I think, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the O-line is messing with Bijan more than it is with Kirk, which kind of surprises me, but it makes sense. Um, but we're just going to sim to the rest of the regular season. Hopefully, either we make the playoffs and win the Super Bowl, or we lose every single game the rest of the season and get a better draft pick. Uh, we did make the playoffs. We made the playoffs. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect that at all. Um, I think we won the division. No, we didn't. We didn't win the division. Okay. Okay, well, what what changed? Our offense got a little better. Kirk did not. Our defense was insane. Our defense was the number one ranked defense. Okay, Kirk, 21 and 10. That's terrible. Bijan had 11, and he ended up almost, he had a better season than we originally expected. Drake, London, with a pretty good season. You got to take into consideration that Kirk didn't have the greatest season. He did well. Barrios did well. Pitts, like, I don't know, man. You wish you could get more from him, but Sachs did increase to end the season. McGrary, and then Rayner, I mean, he's he's a rookie. What, what He is a star. That's fine. We're fine with that. We'll take it. Did our backup get in? Tyler Crawford did get in. He did decent, it looked like, for one one game, I guess. That's fine. We'll take that. We made the playoffs, shockingly. I think Kirk has to go this offseason, though. We gave him we gave him the reins for another another game or another rest of the season, and he, he didn't pan out. We lose in the first round. Expected. Very much expected. I do need to stop this, though, because we are going to need to re-sign some people. And I got to make sure that I'm able to do that. I do feel like the, the Falcons in real life have a very real chance of making something happen. I think the Falcons are scary. I think Kirk puts them over the top. I, I don't know. I don't know, man. It, it, it's going to be interesting. Falcons fans have something to look forward to for once. I'm, I'm happy for them. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Darnell Mooney is a good fit for them, too. They're going to be pretty good. They're going to be pretty good. Uh, and now we got people ready to negotiate. Kyle Pitts is going to be one of them. Oh, Drake London, too. 
Did we already get Kyle Pitts? I hope we got Kyle Pitts already. We'll go through the rest after this. We're obviously accepting Drake London's fifth-year deal, or fifth-year option. Richie Grant. He's 27. He doesn't want that much money. We'll see what we can do for Richie. Oh, it's it got to be a franchise tag. We're, we can't franchise tag him. We'll give him a little more money than he... Oh, we don't have... Yeah. Maybe we try trading away Kirk now. Pre-free agency. Are we able to do that? We should be able to. Doesn't look like it, though. Oh, man. All right. Well, we got to... Who's making a lot in 25? Can we restructure? No restructure on him. Kirk might be the guy that we have to just get rid of. Maybe we dump him and... Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Can we restructure? I don't know how this is going to work with him. Free is 7.7 7 in cap space. We're going to do that. It's going to make him tougher to trade. Because, I mean, look at that. He's down to a 73 overall. That's just, yeah. Madden really makes this impossible. It really makes it impossible. So, Almond, I'm going to give you all that we can. Because I think you're a guy that we would like to go forward with. He's probably going to say no, and he does. So we restructured Kirk for no reason. Mike Hughes, I don't think we want you back. Same with Josh Jones. Janu, no thank you. Lorenzo Carter. franchise tag dude uh, these guys wanted to negotiate and then they don't want to be on the team interesting we're gonna ride with this we're gonna ride with this and it's gonna be a fun free agency not really it's it's gonna be terrible all right so going into free agency we don't need a quarterback we have our quarterback of the future we need to trade our quarterback we need to trade Kirk cousins and it's gonna be tough not many people are even gonna have the money to take him on but we gotta make it happen somehow I mean, look at this. We'll get there in a second. Crawford hasn't played a game yet. And, yeah. Kirk has got to go. They would have the money to take him. And they want a quarterback. We're not going to get a first out of him. Let's try for a second. We're not going to get it, but I want to see how far it puts us halfway. Can we get offensive linemen? Possibly. Broderick Jones, they're not going to give up. Charles, no. Aiken, maybe? And we'll take Nate Davis, too. If we could get those two guys, I'm happy. Nope. Nowhere near. Okay. Okay. Oh, Nate Davis is getting paid a bag, too. He's the one that's making it tough. Maybe we sweeten the deal a little bit. We'll take... We'll take Aiken from you. And then we'll throw in... Um, we'll throw in next year's third. They don't even want that. Man, I don't blame them. I don't blame them at all. But maybe we just take like a sixth or a seventh for them. We'll try for a fourth. It's Kirk. Wait. I thought I said they accepted it. They declined it? Okay, we'll give him seventh, and I'll push it over the top. But Kirk is just, he's not, he's not the guy. They decline that, too. My goodness. That, that is literally, like, the smallest margin ever. I'm not giving you a, I'll give you a sixth. I'm not giving you a fifth for a fourth round. Did it say so? Hold on. Unfortunately, we can't sit here. How does this put us over the cap? 
how does this put us over the cap? They want to accept it, but we can't. Okay, I got to figure this out. I'm not not a not an NFL accountant here, so I don't I don't know what's going on, but all right, so I'm not going to try understanding what's going on there with the the Kirk situation, but we don't have much money because of that. Um and that makes this really tough. I wish we wouldn't have done this realistically. I wish we would have got another quarterback other than Kirk. But we tried doing it realistically. We're going to try to get Lyle Collins for a year. I think this year we just need to focus on developing our quarterback a little more. Because this is this is going to be tough. It's going to be real tough. Um, our defense was amazing. I don't really want to touch defense, actually. With, with how good it was, I don't really want to touch it. Maybe bring in a cheap a cheap veteran, but that's about all I would consider doing. Mike Hilton's a little smaller than I would like. Isaac Yaidam. Bring him in. This is all the money that we've got. And we're going to put tra- er, Kirk on the trade block and see what we can do. We did get Isaac. We also got Lyle Collins. Makes me feel a little better. But man, Kirk is eating up everything we've got. He, 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 we can't do it. We can't do it with him on the uh, the roster like this. I forgot to put him on the trade block. I don't think we get any offers for him anyways, but if we can't get rid of him by the first game of the season, we are going to release him, unfortunately. Unfortunately, that's what we're going to have to do. I love Kirk in real life. I am a, uh, I'm very much a Kirk Cousins fan. But my goodness, Madden just hates it. Hates it when they get older. Because I think it has him starting too. Yeah, it does. Add him to the trade block. And hopefully somebody makes an offer. Unfortunately, we don't have any money to offer anybody else. So our center right now is a 63. That's going to be somebody we need to get in the draft. Uh, Wide receiver three is a position that we need as well. And then defensively, right outside linebacker is is a big, big issue for us. But, um, you know, it looks like Carrera is doing all right. Did we draft Williamson? I think we did. Pierre Williamson. Did we draft him? How do I? Stats and contracts. There we go. Yeah, I drafted him, I guess. Yeah, because he was 6'2". I was excited about that. He, he's a he's a star development. Okay. That shocks me. Our corners are not amazing by any means, but we'll take it. Take it. Yeah, Adam was a good replacement for... Uh, who did we have just leave? We had a veteran leave. I forget who it was, but yeah, it's, man, it's rough. It's rough out here. Kirk is uh, making this a little tougher than it needs to be. We're going to sim to the draft. Hopefully somebody offers for Kirk, but I doubt they will. Okay, so I know we need offensive line, but he is fast. He has A man coverage. He has B zone coverage. This guy is 6 1 as well. He's going to be a dog. He's going to be a dog. That is an amazing pick. At 19, that's great. I know we need O line, but we also needed a cornerback. That's a good pick. Now, if you're wondering as well, we did not get any offers before the draft for Kirk, so we'll see how that goes. But we are going to take Garrison Saunders here. He's a hidden dev that we got in the third round. That's shocking. I can't believe it. He had very good good stats, but I, I, I'm kind of shocked by that. We'll take it, obviously. Now, for our next pick in the fourth round, we are going to get Ty Gibson. He's got pretty good... Not really. He's got decent physicals. Not the greatest, but we, we need a linebacker. I think he can fit what we're looking for. Um... And then we're just going to sim through the rest of this and see where we get. 
So we have made it to the preseason. I think we need to get rid of... uh, Oh, I forgot to look at the draft recap. But we need to get rid of Kirk. We need to get rid of Kirk. We're also going to look now at our our draft recap, I guess. We're going to need to figure this out here. We got Dante Cheeks, middle linebacker, 66. Daniel Upshaw, 62. Seth Ash, not great. Rainer, we got last draft. Tyrell Britt is a 67. Luke Burgess, we drafted for some reason. Uh, Garrison Saunders is a 72. He was our left guard that we drafted. Hodgins, we didn't take really. Yeah, I mean, Ty Gibson we took. Hold on. I'm really confused. Brandon Birmingham is the guy that we got that I was super excited about. He's a 78. That's awesome. Uh, Carlos Hernandez we got last year. Jamichael Ford. Yeah, I have I have no clue. Now that I'm looking at this, I don't know who we got, but we got one one hit at least, uh, or two actually, with the, though the right guard was pretty good. Um, but yeah, with that being said, Kirk has got to go. All right, so we traded Kirk to the Bears for a fourth-round pick. Um, it's great to get him off the books, and now we can look in free agency and see if there's anybody that we're interested in signing. And we also need to focus then on, um, you know, quite a bit, actually. We need to focus on quite a bit here. But we can focus on getting people to help out the team for now. Bobby Okarike regressed, and same with with Bates. That's that's tough. I like this defense. Otherwise, our linebackers need to be better still. Uh, but I, we do have a bit of money now. I'm hoping that there's somebody still out here. Kickers. Kickers. Levante David. Honestly, we're doing it. We're pulling the trigger. We'll take Levante David. We don't have much more money. I take that back. We're not going to take Levante David. If we find somebody, I'll show you guys. All right, so I think what we're doing is we're just going to stick with the team we've got and, and see what we can do with it. This, unfortunately, is going to be a very long rebuild. Uh, if we get to year five or six without anything going, we might call it quits. Uh, they These guys are just a tough team to rebuild with. Really tough. Especially after signing Kirk. I don't know how they had the money to do that. I have no clue. It's it's shocking. It's really shocking. But hoping we can get something going here and uh, see where we're at midseason. At midseason, like we kind of expected, we're 2-5. and five. Although I did forget to... Uh... <sighs> That's why. Uh, you know, they might have added a one or two, but... I was still on manual control. So, yeah, not great. That doesn't help our case, but we are 2-5. and five. What's the issue, Ben? Everything, most likely. Uh, our offense is 24th in the league, and our defense is 15th. It's not great. Crawford's not having a bad season. Only four interceptions. I'll take that. I mean, he's got to pass a little better, but Bijan's having a good season. London has been a reliable wide receiver one. You wish he had a little more yards, but yeah, I mean, this is kind of what you expect with, with this, with this crew, unfortunately. And I think we're going to have to deal with not making the playoffs for maybe a year or two, but we got something coming up in the future. I'm going to try to resign some people. Now, Kyle Pitts, we got to resign. If we don't resign Kyle Pitts, that's going to be embarrassing. We do get Kyle Pitts back. Tyler Algeo, no thank you. Arnold, Arnold, I'll take you, buddy. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He doesn't want that much. Grady Jarrett doesn't want that much to stay. We'll keep him. And who else? Who else wants some money? Caleb McGrary, you're getting a little old. Chuck Clark doesn't want much. He's going to be 30. For a one-year contract, we'll take Chuck Clark back. I don't know if he accepted that or not. I probably should have paid attention. He did not. Uh, Caden Ellis isn't going to come back. Troy Anderson, we don't really care that much about. Lyle Collins is 32. He's getting old. Ani Meta's getting old. Yeah, this team is... It's 
team's looking a little rough. It's looking a little rough, I'm not going to lie, but we're going to sim and see where we get. So we did end the season 8-9, and nine, but that's not going to be good enough to put us in the playoffs. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll check out stats here. Bijan finished top three in rushing. It looked, uh, yeah, Crawford had a rough second half of the season. Not the numbers you want, but it's the first year. We expect that. Bijan with 1,400 yards. That's great. Um, and London didn't do great. Yeah. I mean, McGrary gave up 10 sacks. Rainer's given up eight. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. How did a rookie corner do? He got a pick. He did okay, I guess. He's a star. We got a future, but it, it's going to be a little rough. So we finally hit free agency, and we do have some money to spend this offseason. Um, now, our line is young. It's getting better, which is what we needed. Um, quarterback's looking all right. If we could get a better one, I wouldn't be too upset by that. Wide receivers are not developing how we want them to. Um, we lost Braxton Berrios, and then, you know, linebackers were struggling as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we're not looking pretty. That's for sure, but uh, we'll figure it out, I guess. We're going to go into free agency. we got to look for a lot here. Center is number one. We need a center. Nobody is interested in us. Pickens would be fun to have. Maybe that's what we need to do is we just need to focus on offense a little better because we have not really got anybody to throw to. Uh Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Jameson Williams is a cheaper option that would be a very good one. We're going to give him five and four for two years. I think that's good. And then we'll have, we'll have threats. We'll have threats that can, can you know, do their thing. Uh, we need to figure out our safety situation though. Because we lost one. I believe. I could be wrong, but I believe we lost one. None of these guys want too much money. Let me make sure here. We're not going to sign Metellus, but we got Chuck Clark. We got Chuck Clark who will be our starting safety, so we're not going to look into replacing him necessarily. None of these guys are even star. So maybe look at free safety and see what they got there. Because they do have a little more options. Kevin Byard is interested in us. I would be interested in, in trying to get Tyran Matthew. Matthew, my goodness. We'll give him quite a bit of money. For one year, that's fine. Um, and then we... We need center. That was one position I said we need, and I haven't looked at it yet. Ted Karras. Uh, cushion. We need a center. We need a center. I'm willing to waste money on it. That'll help us out, too. So we're going to try to offer TJ Edwards as well. Uh, he's slightly interested in us. I'm hoping that we can get him. That would be a great addition. Uh and we're gonna we're gonna see if we got anybody. We did not get we didn't get him, unfortunately. Quincy Williams is not coming through. Not Quincy, we didn't get Quincy, but Tyree Matthew, we got. Ryan Kelly, we got. That's a big one. And Jameson Williams too. Now, uh and we still need linebackers. But I'm happy with what we've got so far. Edwards is who we wanted. Quincy Williams is next. Um I guess we'll go for Josh Uchi. I, it's, it's not big, but he can play right outside linebacker, which will help us. And then Kaiser White will also give some money. I think what we need to do is focus on filling most of our holes in free agency rather than in the draft. Because we just have, we, we get really one good pick. Kaiser White is still out there. He hasn't signed, but we did get Josh Uchi. I'm cool with that. And uh, we'll go from there. So we sim to the draft, um, and we're just honestly here for the best player that we can get. 
Uh, I don't think this guy is it. Honestly, O line wouldn't be bad because I do like our team how it is. And Emmett can play a little bit of right tackle, it looks like. We're going to get another Michigan guy. I'm not a fan of that entirely. But we got more O-line, which is what we needed. It's not exciting, but it's it's what we need. I think this team does have a chance to go pretty far this year. With our next pick, we got Antoine Carrington. Uh, he's got pretty good stats. He, he's a normal dev, but we'll take him. Next up, we're going to draft Tevin Crowder. Uh, he's normal dev, but... Getting another wide receiver would not hurt. We need to get our quarterback to develop as quickly as possible, and I think wide receiver is the route to go for that. And then finally, we're going to take Manu Elias. Uh, he does not look bad for a fourth-round pick. He is hidden dev. Beautiful. 91 speed is a middle linebacker as well. That's pretty good. Uh, we're going to skip ahead. Oh, I didn't mean to skip that pick, but... I guess we're going to the end of the draft now, uh, and we will actually, this time, show the draft recap. As promised, here is the draft recap. Our first pick is a 73. That's not the greatest. Carrington is a 73 as well, and same with Crowder. Elias is a 70, and the rest of these guys were just picked. Uh, it's not our greatest draft by any means, but we did get a few hidden devs. Can't be upset about that. So to start the season, here is what our roster looks like. Our O-line looks a lot better. We have a lot of star devs. You like to see that. And then wide receiver one, Drake London. Two is uh, Jamison Williams. And then three is Hernandez. Hernandez is a great wide receiver three. Crawford, we're hoping he has a great season. It just gets gets better. We need him to get better. Um, and our defense looks pretty nasty too. It's, you know, it could be better, but it's... It's definitely it's definitely pretty good. And we're going to move Matthew to our strong safety one and let him go there. Um, there's Patrick. Patrick Williamson is still on the team, but he's a, he's a, he's a free safety. We're actually going to change Tyron Matthew's position to a strong safety so that when I give the CPU permission to run the team, they don't switch him back. So that hopefully... We'll keep him the same overall. Actually, it makes him better. He was at 83, I think. I like this team. I think this team has a chance to go very far. We're going to try, and I'm not going to forget to turn this off this time. All right. We're going to sim to midseason, and hopefully, hopefully we get something going. It's going to be a long video. Uh, hopefully, we get something going here for midseason. <laughs> mid season we are two and four what am I doing wrong what am I doing wrong we we gotta have injuries or something no no injuries oh actually we do have one injury Bergeron is injured and uh yikes okay well Hopefully Bergeron's not out for too long because that's terrible. Uh, and we just, what are we doing wrong? There's got to be something that we're doing wrong. Um, offensively, we are 30th in the league. We're 30th. Defensively, we're doing all right. We're a lost cause. I think we could just get a sim and, and then see what happens and figure it out in the offseason because that you can't fix this you need a quarterback and we we don't really have the assets to trade for a quarterback either unfortunately okay we had the greatest turnaround of all time and we made the playoffs at 11 and 6 i don't know what happened clifford did not seem to have any better of a season so Bijan probably carried us he did 1,500 yards for Bijan. See, this is what the, I thought the team would look like. I thought the team would look like this. And we play the Packers. And we're going to lose. We're going to lose. We did. 28-7. to 7. But we made progress. And that's all you can ask for.
All right. I think we got one more year left in this and uh, we're going to call it quits after that probably. All right. So this video is taking me a couple hours to record. So I just grabbed lunch. I forget where I left off, but if we don't win in the next one or two years, I think I'm calling it quits. Is This video is taking me a while. It looks like we got a yearly award though. Not entirely sure what that would be. Maybe we got a yearly award. Didn't get offensive player. We didn't get defensive player. I yeah, never mind. I guess we didn't. <laughs> Lindstrom, Lindstrom's doing his thing. Good for him. But yeah, I don't. I don't know why that's popping up. Usually that pops up when you win something, but I, I we didn't. So we are gonna send to the off season and see what we can do. So with this being one of our last couple seasons, we are going to make some big moves. Uh, first of all, we got to start with this. We need a kicker, and we also need a punter. Uh, Brandon Aubrey. McLaughlin. McLaughlin wants less. Not by much, but I want to keep as much money as we can to get some big free agent signings as well as... Uh, you know, we need to make some trades. Trades are going to be where we really pay off at. Um, so that's what we're going to go for. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a really interesting offseason. Okay, so after looking through free agency, there's really nobody out there. This is a very boring free agency uh, year so far. We put an offer out for Legeria Sneed. We got a kicker and a punter. Sneed is the only guy that I actually want out here. Uh, and we did get Sneed. We got Sneed. And we also got an achievement for it too, I guess. Uh, I'm happy to get Sneed. But this means that we're going to need to trade quite a bit. And I think quarterback is our number one position that we need to trade for right now. Okay, I didn't expect this to go through. We gave a first and Tyler Crawford for Dwayne McDowell. And he's an 80 overall. I know what you're thinking, but he's a superstar. And he had pretty good stats last season. I think this is a guy that will kind of push us over the top, is what I'm hoping. Um, you know, We're going all out. We're going to trade everything that we need to to get the guys that we need. And like right now, I think defensive line, getting some edge rushers, is probably what we need to help this team out the most. We're going to pause on edge rushers for a little bit, and we're going to take Derwin James uh, out of the hands of the Chargers. That was another guy we needed. Not guy. Another position we needed. I'm happy to do that. He he costs a little more than you know everybody else, but I'm cool with that. I am 100% cool with that. That is a great trade in my opinion. And now I just want to beef up the D-line a little bit. We don't even need you know, superstars out there. We just need people. And I'm, I'm happy with what we've got going right now. It's, it's, this is looking pretty good. We picked up 80 overall left end Rashad Hayden from the bears. I don't know why he was so cheap. He was a backup, but I mean, he's still going to fit on our team pretty well. We are going the, uh, we're going the Rams route. We are, we're locked in. We're trading all of our picks. This is uh this is what we got to do to win and I'm I'm all here I'm here for it. All right, so we traded for Jalen Carter and uh, I think it's Maurice Taylor, which will help out our defense even more. Our defense is gonna be nasty. Our defense is gonna be absolutely nasty. The one thing is, if we don't win it this year, uh, I didn't mean to go to depth chart. If we don't win it this year, we are very much um, in a bad spot. To put it to put it lightly. We've got a lot of guys that are going to be free agents after this year. And we do have the money, but at the same time, these guys are going to want a lot of money with how good all of them are. But I like what we've got. I think we're going to run with this. Uh, is offensively, you got McDowell and Robinson in the backfield, and you got London, Williams, and Carlos Hernandez. And then you got Kyle Pitts in a guy that was drafted by the cpu that is a hidden development at tight end and then defense is pretty nasty our lowest starting overall is a 72 but then after that is a 78 um i think we look pretty impressive i like this team 
I pray that we actually do good. So that's what we're going to do is sim to the midseason and see where we're at. So halfway through the season, we're 5-1. and one. That's what we like to see. Now checking our quarterback performance. Uh, yikes. A little bit. A little bit of yikes. Offense is 20th. Defense is 5th. Najee's stats are nasty. Uh, McDowell, we might try to trade and get a better quarterback. Can't hurt. Bijan is having a great season. Uh, Drake London is not. He's played six games. Wow. Drake London is having a rough season. Pitts is carrying the load, though. Um, but I think we're going to try to trade Dwayne. He's not working out how we wanted him to, and hopefully there's somebody out there that we can get. After doing a lot of searching, I don't think that we are going to be able to trade for a new quarterback, um, which is all right. I mean, it's gonna take it's gonna take some time to develop. I, I hope that it doesn't take too much time though, and we can uh, get to the playoffs, which we should. We were five and one, but uh, you know, just dominating the playoffs. So as you guys could see, we were ten and seven, made the playoffs, and we we're playing the Lions in the first round. Unfortunately, McDowell did not do any better. But Bijan did carry us uh, through the rest of the season. 27 and 14 isn't terrible. You obviously don't want that, but we're going to have to ride him throughout the playoffs and see see how far we can get. So we're going to... Oh, I almost flipped my phone off the table. We are going to record... Or not record. We're going to sim through the wild card and see, uh, see what we can do. We do win. But now we play the 13 and 4 San Francisco 49ers. Once again, we're going to sim. Every time I go in, we lose. Like when we watch the sim, we lose, but we do win that one 31 to 7. And we're going to play the other birds, the Philadelphia Eagles in the conference championship. We need to win this. We really need to win this. Once again, we are going to sim and not watch it because we lose every time. We'll do the Super Bowl. We'll sim that if we do get there. And we won by one point. We do have an injury, though. I'm hoping this isn't too bad. We're going to play the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Jesse Bates. Oh, wait. Jesse Bates is coming back. Ladarius, Ladarius Sneed is, is out injured. That's the injury you want before the uh, Super Bowl. Um, I guess I can't control that, but he should be back for the Super Bowl. I didn't know he was out. But my goodness, we lose Legereus Sneed for the Super Bowl. That's awesome. All right, this is going to be the video right here. we got to win the Super Bowl. Uh, win or loss, we're going to call it a video. Uh, we are going to sim through it and see what happens. We'll check out yearly awards, too. I want to check that out. But uh, the last time the Patriots and the Falcons played in the Super Bowl, we don't we don't want to remember what happened as we are the as we are the Falcons here today. Bijan almost got offensive player of the year. Uh nobody for defensive. No rookies. Bijan best running back. Oh, man. I I'm worried about this game. I'm very worried about this game. Um uh, We got in this one with a win. We have to. We're going to jump in here and uh, and sim this game. Watch it. Now, I am going to check uh, check our team because I saw something while I was going into the game. I think we have another X-Factor tight end. And we do. <laughs> Brackens is a X-Factor. Wow. Okay. Interesting. That's interesting. I don't know why McLean isn't starting at center when he's clearly the best one on the on the roster. Uh, wow. Okay. We uh, we drafted a good tight end, and our defense looks about the same. I don't see anybody that got. See, I don't know because we're in the Super Bowl, so we should have gotten Dev Trade upgrades. Bijan didn't get an upgrade. Bijan had like. An amazing season and did not get an upgrade. That doesn't that doesn't make sense to me. I don't know how that happens, but we do get a tight end 
X Factor, I guess. We didn't really need it, but we got it. So no complaining there. So we are in the Super Bowl. Uh, I got to shut that off real quick. Okay, we're going to play the moment, but we're not playing it. We will jump forward to the end of each quarter. The Patriots take a 7 nothing lead to start out. Maybe end the game. All right. We make it 7-3 to three and then go down 7-6. to six. Dude, we got to we gotta score touchdowns here because we're, we're down big time. We got another field goal. Okay. All right. Well, um, I guess I was removed from my own party. That's how long this video has taken. I think after like three hours of inactivity, it, it just it, it kicks you out. We lost. Uh, and that's going to be the video, unfortunately. We, we don't raise the Lombardi, but we did get the, the Falcons there. Uh, sorry, Falcons fans. You guys lost to the Patriots again. Sam Howell outplayed us quarterback-wise. Uh, I mean, we didn't have turnovers. We just 15 for 29. Can't do that in the Super Bowl. Rushing. Bijan had a great game. Why did he only get 13 carries? That's that's bad, man. That's bad. 348 yards and only 16 points to show for it. Third down. We didn't stop them on third down. Yeah, we just... We could have been so much better, but that's unfortunate. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, sorry we could not get a Super Bowl with the Falcons. That Kirk Cousins contract really screwed us up for a couple years, and uh, it's... I don't know. In real life, I think it's going to be a great team, but in Madden, the age is just... No matter how good you are at a certain age, Madden just decides that you know you hit that age, and it's like, you're not going to be good anymore. Your, your overall is tanking. And unfortunately, basically the entire Falcons team is at that age. So it's unfortunate, but um, thank you guys for watching. Sorry this is a longer video. I think that's probably the longest video I've got. Uh, so I'll, I'll wrap this up, but thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, sorry again, I couldn't get them a Super Bowl, but hopefully our next one, we can get them that. So uh, I will see you guys in the next couple of days. Hope you guys have a great day. Peace.